Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from some applications of trigonometry chapter which had appeared in CBSE board exam 2025. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first and the second sub questions are for one mark, and the third sub question is for two marks, and it has an OR question as well. That is, either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So, let us start with the first sub question now. Amrita stood near the base of a lighthouse, gazing up at its towering height. She measured the angle of elevation to the top and found it to be 60 degrees. Then she climbed to a nearby observatory deck 40 meters higher than her original position and noticed that the angle of elevation to the top of lighthouse to be 45 degrees. Based on the above given information, answer the following questions. If CD is H meters, Find the distance BD in terms of H. So let us try to understand the question first. We have been given a lighthouse and Amrita is standing near the base of the lighthouse. So here an equivalent figure is being given and let us say that Amrita is standing at point A and AE represents the ground. And standing at point A, she is looking at the top of the tower and C represents the top of the tower. Now when she looks up, her eyes make an angle of 60 degrees with the ground. So remember that whenever you are looking straight, it represents the line of sight. And whenever you make an angle looking upward with respect to the line of sight, we call it as angle of elevation. So if Amrita was looking straight, that represents her line of sight. And when she is looking up, that is going this way from the line of sight, her eyes angle of elevation becomes 60 degrees. Now she moves on top of an observatory deck. So let's say that she is at point B. And the height of the observatory deck is 40 meters with respect to ground. Now when she stands at point B, she again looks at the top of the lighthouse and at that point her eyes make an angle of 45 degrees from the line of sight. So this becomes the angle of elevation at point B. Now it is given that if the height of CD is represented as H meters, we have to find the distance BD in terms of H. So for that let us consider the triangle CDB. And it is going to be a right angled triangle because the lighthouse is making a 90 degree angle with respect to ground. So here the entire line CDE is going to be at 90 degrees with respect to the ground AE. Now let us consider this small triangle CDP. So here we have redrawn the right angled triangle CDB where angle B is given as 45 degrees and the height of CD is given as H meters. So here we have written consider the right angled triangle BDC. Now to solve this, we have to make use of a trigonometric ratio. So let us find out which trigonometric ratio needs to be used here. Now since the angle is given at point B, the side opposite to the 45 degrees is going to be H meters, that is CD. So this becomes the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degrees, remember that it is always going to be the hypotenuse. And the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. Now here, since we need to find out BD in terms of CD, we need the adjacent side and we need the opposite side. So we do not need the hypotenuse over here. So the trigonometric ratio which uses the opposite side and the adjacent side is tan or tangent. So here we have written tan of angle B is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So this is the ratio representing the tan. And here since we have been given angle B as 45 degrees. So we have written tan of 45 degrees is equal to now the opposite side is going to be CD and the adjacent side is going to be BD. So here we have written CD over BD. Now tan 45 is a standard angle. You have to remember the values of standard angles and tan 45 is going to be equal to 1. So we have written here 1 is equal to. Now CD is given as H meters. So we have written H over BD. Now BD goes on the other side of equal to sign and multiplies with 1 giving us BD is equal to h meters. So this length or the distance of point B from D is going to be h meters. So this is going to be our answer. Now let us move on to the next question. Find distance BC in terms of h. So for this let us again consider the triangle BDC. So here in this triangle we had seen that the side opposite to the 45 degrees was CD. So this had become the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degrees will be always the hypotenuse. 
and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. Now here, since we need to find out the distance BC and we have been given the opposite side, we do not need the adjacent side over here and the trigonometric ratio which makes use of the opposite side and the hypotenuse is sine. So sine of angle B will be equal to the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So here angle B is given as 45. So we have written sine of 45 degrees is equal to opposite side is CD and hypotenuse is BC. Now here sine 45 represents a standard angle and its value is going to be 1 over square root of 2. So here we have written 1 over square root of 2 is equal to. Now CD was given as H meters. So we have written H over here over BC. Now let us go for the cross multiplication. That is BC multiplies with 1 and square root of 2 multiplies with h giving us bc is equal to square root of 2 times h meters. So this is going to be our answer. Now let us move on to the next question. Find the height ce of the lighthouse and use square root of 3 as 1.73. Now here in this figure we can see that the height AB will be equal to the height DE because AB DE represents a rectangle. So here we have written the height of DE as 40 meters and the height CD was given as H meters. So the total height CE is going to be H plus 40 meters that is CD plus DE. And to find out the height CE, we are going to make use of the right angled triangle AEC. So let me redraw this triangle over here for easy reference. So this represents our right angled triangle AEC where angle A is given as 60 degrees and the length of AE is going to be equal to the length of BD because we considered this as rectangle and the BD length we had got in the previous question as H meters. So the length of AE is also going to be H meters. Now the side which is going to be opposite to the 60 degree is going to be the total height that is CE. So this represents the opposite side. The side opposite to the 90 degrees will be always the hypotenuse. So AC becomes the hypotenuse and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. Now in this right angled triangle, we need to find out CE which is the opposite side and we have already got the adjacent side that is AE. So we do not need the hypotenuse and the trigonometric ratio which uses the opposite side and adjacent side is 10. So here we have written tan of angle A is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Now angle A is given as 60 degrees. So here we have written tan of 60 degrees is equal to now opposite side is CE and the adjacent side is AE. Now tan 60 is a standard angle and its value is going to be square root of 3. So here we have written square root of 3 is equal to now the total height CE is going to be h meters plus 40 meters. So h plus 40 over now AE we have got it as h meters. Now let us take h on the other side of equal to sign so that it multiplies with square root of 3 giving us square root of 3 times h is equal to h plus 40. Now let us take h on the other side of equal to sign so we get square root of 3 times h minus h is equal to 40. Now h is a common factor from these two terms. So here we have taken h as a common factor and inside the bracket remains square root of 3 minus 1 equal to 40. Now let us take this bracket on the other side of equal to sign so that it divides 40 giving us h equal to 40 over square root of 3 minus 1. Now we are going to rationalize this denominator since we have a square root term. So here we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 3 plus 1 and square root of 3 plus 1. Now here the numerators will multiply together and the denominators will multiply together and to solve the denominator we are going to make use of an algebraic identity. So here we have multiplied the numerators together and here we can see that the denominators are of the form a minus b times a plus b. So this is the algebraic identity we are going to use that is a square minus b square. So here a represents square root of 3 so we have written square root of 3 square minus b represents 1 so we have written 1 square. So further simplifying this we get 40 times now they had asked us to use 1.73 in place of square root of 3. So we have written its value plus 1 over now when we square a square root term 
the square root disappears giving us 3 minus 1 square is 1. So for this simplifying this we get 40 times now 1.73 plus 1 gives us 2.73 over 3 minus 1 gives us 2. Now 2 divides 40 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 20 times is 40 giving us 20 times 2.73 and multiplying these two gives us the value of h as 54.6 meters. Now here h represented the height of CD but we need to find out the total height that is CE. So we are going to add the height of CD that is h with 40 giving us 54.6 plus 40 as 94.6 meters. So this is going to be our answer. Now let us move on to the OR question. Find distance AE if AC is equal to 100 meters. So let us consider the right angled triangle AEC. Now in this right angled triangle, angle A is 60 degrees and the length of AC is given as 100 meters. We need to find out the length of AE. Now here let us find out the opposite, hypotenuse and adjacent sides. So the side opposite to the 60 degrees is going to be the opposite side that is CE. Now the side opposite to the 90 degrees will be the hypotenuse. So here we have 100 meters that is AC as the hypotenuse and the remaining side default becomes the adjacent side. Now here since we have the hypotenuse value and we need to find out the distance AE which is the adjacent side we do not need the opposite side over here and the trigonometric ratio which uses the adjacent side and the hypotenuse is cos. So here cos of angle A will be equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Now here angle A is 60 degrees. So we have written cos of 60 degrees is equal to now adjacent side is AE and the hypotenuse is AC. Now cos 60 is a standard angle and its value is going to be equal to 1 over 2 equal to now we have to find out the distance AE so we have written it as it is over the length of AC was given as 100 meters. Now here let us take 100 on the other side of equal to sign so that it multiplies with 1 giving us AE is equal to 1 times 100 gives us 100 over 2. Now 2 divides 100 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 50 times is 100. So this gives us the distance AE as 50 meters. So this is going to be our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then check out this playlist where you will find more examples of this kind and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.